guys, so it's time today for a book review of Galapagos by Kurt Vonnegut. I did mention this to you in my end of May wrap up when I was about halfway through it, just to say that I was really enjoying it. And that continued throughout my reading experience. This book got a four out of five stars from me. I thoroughly enjoyed reading this book. It was very engaging and interesting and amusing and something a little bit different in between what I've been reading recently. So generally speaking, I can say I would highly recommend this if you are at all interested, but since I'm sure most of you don't actually know what it's about, if you haven't heard me talk about it before or you haven't seen it somewhere else, I will give you a quick plot introduction, spoiler free of course, although one thing I will say about this book is that it's very difficult to spoil because it's not really full of any surprises whatsoever. But more on that in a minute. The premise of this book is that a group of travellers have signed up to be part of a cruise leaving from Ecuador to travel around the Galapagos Islands and visit all of the wildlife and nature there is to see. Unfortunately, just before this cruise is about to set off, things hit the fan somewhat. And basically, things just start to completely politically deteriorate gradually across the different continents, although we don't hear too much about what's really going on in the wider world, but we hear a little bit about what's going on in Ecuador and the nearby countries. For those that did make it to Ecuador before things hit the fan, however, the cruise will still take place. However, not quite to the end result and experience they were expecting. Dun, dun, dun. Like I said, it's really difficult to spoil this book, but also talk about it without talking about in its entirety from beginning to end because we have a bit of an omniscient narrator. The narrator is in fact a ghost who isn't really involved with the rest of the characters in this book but ends up observing their life and remaining on the island that their cruise ship ends up landing on for millennia so that he sees the entire future of the human race as it unfolds and is kind of narrating backwards from a million years in the future back to the events that took place in Ecuador and on this cruise ship and its passengers. Kind of, kind of wacky, but because of that, there's not really any surprises. You are told everything that's going to happen before it happens and before you can even really wonder what's going to happen, you're kind of constantly in the know because of our narrator. The only things that really need filling in are kind of how things happen. So those are the only real surprises and I guess that's what keeps you engaged. But the lack of surprises isn't a bad thing in this book. You know, we talk a lot about plot twists and discovering things at the end of the book and not knowing what's happening, as if that's the only good way to write a book. But actually, not necessary in this book. It's still utterly amazing. You might have gotten the impression so far that I did find this quite an amusing read. It definitely comes under the heading of black humour. A lot of disastrous things happen in it, but the narrator has a very dry sense of humour and I found myself kind of snorting and laughing out loud on multiple occasions at this at this story. There's a lot of mockery of humanity and our big brains which just constantly get us into trouble and cause us more pain than is necessary, which I'm sure a lot of us can sympathise with. I can however see from this book why Kurt Vonnegut seems to be a bit of a divider though. It's a very distinctive narrative technique and kind of story and kind of writing, so I, th I get the impression you either like Kurt Vonnegut or you don't. This was my first Kurt Vonnegut book. I really enjoyed it and will definitely be trying more of his books. Although I don't know anybody other than my dad that's read this book specifically, so maybe more people would enjoy this one, I either seem to hear people absolutely adored his books or just didn't get on with them. He's maybe just one of those writers that isn't for everybody, but I definitely recommend giving him a try and since I had such a positive reading experience with this one first, I, I would definitely recommend trying this one if you haven't tried any of his stuff before. One thing I will say is that the back of this book is incredibly misleading. Um, I feel like I've given you the equivalent of what I would have put as the blurb on the back of this book at the beginning of this review. Just ignore the blurb, although it's very intriguing and kind of gets you interested. Half of it doesn't actually happen till right at the end and some of it doesn't really happen at all. I don't know why those are the elements they chose to make such a big deal out of. I guess they're just trying to sell the book, but 
That did annoy me a little bit, although it's not really Kurt Vonnegut's fault, but that's a little bit annoying because you go into a book with certain expectations and I kept wondering, when's this thing gonna happen? Just ignore it, just go in with no expectations. Really enjoyable, really good fun. If you like a bit of dark comedy, if you like satire and kind of mockery of the human race and also kind of weird theories and science fiction ideas about the evolution of human race, then I would definitely recommend checking this book out. If you are a big Kurt Vonnegut fan and can recommend which book of his I should try next, then do let me know. But until next time guys, happy reading and I'll see you all again soon. Bye!